In this video I'm going to talk about hometown. It is highly likely that in IELTS speaking part 1 the IELTS examiner will ask you about your hometown or the town or city that you're living in at the moment. So it's important that you have lots of language prepared to answer this question. What kind of place is your hometown? My hometown is a densely populated city and is located in the north of the country. It is renowned for its bustling city centre and is teeming with people day and night. There is a wide range of shops. It could be described as a shopper's paradise. However, it isn't the most picturesque place in the world and is best described as a concrete jungle. Densely populated means lots of people live there is located in, you need to get some passive grammar in your answers in order to get a high band score in grammar. It is renowned for, this means it is famous for and is a slightly more advanced way of saying it. Bustling, this means it's very busy. It's teeming with, this means it's full of and is an expression that is going to impress the IELTS examiner because it's very complex and advanced. A shopper's paradise. This is a place that's perfect for people who love shopping. Hong Kong is a shopper's paradise. Picturesque is used to describe places and it's used to describe places that are very, very beautiful. Is best described, here is another example of using the passive. Concrete jungle, this is a great idiomatic expression that you can use to talk about places that are full of buildings and there are very few green spaces. What are the most interesting things to do there? There are loads of great things to do there, such as shop till you drop, then followed by afternoon tea in a fancy cafe and maybe a bit of sightseeing. I would strongly recommend visiting the art gallery. There are a few masterpieces in there so it's definitely worth visiting. When you're giving examples use such as shop till you drop. This is a very good use of idiomatic language and it means to shop for so long that you're so tired that you drop to the floor. So shop till you can shop and hoot no more. Shop till you drop. Followed by, it's important to have lots of organisational features in your writing and speaking. So this gives it some organisation and some order. Fancy, this means it's very posh, very luxurious, very upmarket. I would strongly recommend visiting. Note how the verb after recommend has an ing form. I would strongly recommend visiting and using strongly is a good word because it collocates with recommend and it makes this phrase more complex. A masterpiece is a work of art. The Mona Lisa is a masterpiece. It's definitely worth visiting. Many IELTS candidates forget to use the ing form after worth. So if you're going to use this expression, make sure you use it correctly. What kind of jobs do people do there? There is a mixture of jobs done by the people who live there. Firstly, there is a large industrial estate on the outskirts of the city. So many local residents are employed there. In addition, because of the increasing number of shops there, a lot of the individuals are employed in the service industry. A range of, a mixture of. Done, this is a reduced relative clause. The full clause is which are done, but we can reduce it to done. Who, remember that when we're talking about people, we use who. Your answer needs structure and organisation, firstly, secondly, thirdly, finally. An industrial estate is an industrial area with lots of factories. On the outskirts is at the edge of a town or city. I live on the outskirts of London. It means I live at the edge of London. Local residents 
try not to use the word people over and over again. So have lots of other words such as residents, individuals to talk about people. Are employed. Remember the IELTS examiner is listening for a range of grammar. So remember to use the passive. When you're adding some information, you could use in addition. The IELTS examiner is listening for organisation words as part of your cohesion and coherence grade. The increasing number of shops there are employed. As I said before, the IELTS examiner needs to hear lots of grammar, so get the passive in your answer. And the service industry, this is a business that works for a customer, such as a hotel, a restaurant, a cafe, and you provide a service. Would you say it's a good or a bad place to live? Although there are drawbacks of living in such a crowded and busy city, I wouldn't want to live anywhere else because there's always something to do. I'm a massive fan of city living, so at this point in my life, I wouldn't want to live anywhere else. In the future, the distant future, however, I might be tempted to relocate to the country because I don't think the city is a place to bring up kids. Remember to use although with a subject and a verb and another clause in the sentence. It's to contrast one thing that you're saying with another. Drawbacks, these are disadvantages. Such a crowded and busy city. When we use such a, we need to follow it with an adjective and a noun. A massive fan of. IELTS candidates tend to use I like too much. Here's another way of saying I like. I'm a massive fan of. At this point in my life, much better way of saying now. The distant future. This means not the near future, which is very close, but the future that's further away. Remember the IELTS examiner is listening for um, discourse markers because these give your answer cohesion. I might be tempted. This is very complex language and the word tempt means to attract. Relocate. This means to move. To bring up, to raise and kids. This is quite an informal word, but because this is IELTS speaking, this is acceptable. But do not use this word in IELTS writing. How do you travel around your hometown? I generally tend to travel around by bus. The transport network is pretty good and it's reasonably cheap. It's also quite reliable. Using a car is difficult because of the traffic jams in the rush hour and the city centre can get particularly congested. This is a complex way of saying I usually travel. The verb tend to is easy to use. We just use tend to plus the infinitive and it will impress the IELTS examiner because it's not commonly used by IELTS candidates. The transport network, meaning the transport system. Pretty good. It's generally recommended to avoid using words like good or bad, but if you say pretty good, it makes it sound more complex reasonably cheap. Again, instead of saying something like quite cheap, which is quite simple and basic, reasonably cheap. This is more likely to impress the IELTS examiner. Reliable. You can trust it. It's going to be on time and not break down. Traffic jams. These are lines of stationary traffic caused by roadworks or congestion or an accident. The rush hour, a time during each day when the traffic's at its heaviest, such as between eight and nine o'clock in the morning when people are going to work. Particularly congested. This means so crowded with traffic or people that it's very difficult to move. Would you prefer to live in a bigger 
or smaller place. Despite the fact that I can see the pluses of living in a smaller place, such as having clean air to breathe, I absolutely adore living in the city. There is no time to get bored because it literally is the city that never sleeps. As I get older though, I think I will get sick of the rat race and will end up living in a house in the country. Despite the fact that this is used to show a contrast and it's complex and using it will impress the IELTS examiner much more than using although. The pluses, this means the benefits, the advantages of. I absolutely adore. Like I said before, don't use the phrase I like because it's only going to get you IELTS 5. I absolutely adore. It means I love. It literally is the city that never sleeps. This is an idiomatic expression and will impress the IELTS examiner. And it means that there are things to do at all times of day or night. Though is being used here as a conjunction to show that the next statement is going to contrast with the previous one. A bit like saying, however. Get sick of it. You get tired of it. You've had enough of it. Get sick of. The rat race. This is a great expression and it means the way of life where people are in a very competitive environment. There's a struggle for wealth and power and it's often associated with cities. So we say that um, I don't want to live in London because I don't like the rat race. And it's used to describe those busy cities where everybody is running around like little rats. End up. And this means that something will eventually happen and it is a good use of a phrasal verb. OK, to make sure that you can remember some of these words and expressions, you can now test your vocabulary in the vocabulary quiz. And that is the end of this video. So thanks for watching.